Yorkie darling, how are you? Just about recovered. That must have been ghastly for you. I can safely say I'm never going to a laundrette again. Yeah, <laughs> It would be better to just buy new clothes. Totes. So what are your plans this evening? Belinda, honestly, I worry about you sometimes. Whatever for? My plans. It's bloody Krona. I can't go anywhere, can I? I know that, ding dong. I meant what are your plans at home? Have you got something in mind? <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, you sound funny, like you do when you get an idea. Don't be cross. Oh, God, what? Now, I know that Chauncey has left you, but... If you keep talking about bloody Chauncey, I'm hanging up. No, I'm not. Keep your panties on. Oh, don't say panties. You sound like a right hoo-ha. Oh, just listen. Chauncey is gone. Finito. Goodbye, Chauncey. Yes. So... You should go out with Prancy. Prancy? Are you out of your tree bells? Well, think about it. Who would annoy Chauncey more than... And his brother? Yes, I know who Prancy is, thank you. Well, just think about it. He's the elder, too, so he stands to inherit more. That's true. I just hate the whole family now. Oh, no, no, don't be like that, darling. You wouldn't have to go to a laundrette again if you had a maid. 